Hello dear students, my name is Shashank Shekhar, Master Teacher of Mathematics at Vedantu. Here we are presenting solutions for KEPY 2018 SX uh, stream, that is class 12. Uh, the question taken from part 2 in this video, let's see what the question is, question number 83. It says, let tau be a circle with diameter AB and center O, okay, let I be the tangent to tau at the point B. For each point M on tau different from A, M can be anywhere on the circle, consider the tangent small t at M and let it intersect I at P. I was defined to be the tangent at B. Okay. Uh, draw a line parallel to AB, parallel to AB through P. Okay. Intersecting OM at Q, OM at, OM at Q. The locus of Q as M varies over tau is. Okay, so many points and lines are defined. Uh, options given are an arc of a circular parabola, an arc of an ellipse, a branch of hyperbola. Now the question is geometrical. Uh, o is also not defined to be origin. Nothing is defined. Question is geometrical. So let's see how can we uh, f uh, track the locus of point Q finally defined uh, okay first of all we'll have to draw the picture the various positions of the various uh, points and lines defined in the question so for that I am taking okay um, okay circle first top is circles with diameter AB and center O So let us draw a circle first. Okay. Center is O, diameter is AB. This is center, this is A, this is B. I be the tangent to tau at B. So I am going to draw a tangent. A tangent at point B. right so this is i the line i and the circle is called tau right for the point m for each point m on tau different from a consider the tangent t at m so a tangent is drawn here So, okay, okay, so this is point, um, let following and let the intersect at P, okay, this is point P, this is, this was the tangent I defined and this point is M taken. M then uh, another line another point uh, okay draw a line parallel to AB through P through P we have to draw a line parallel to AB so I'm drawing a line AB uh, drawing a, a line parallel to AB through P and it intersects OM so I'm drawing now OM at point Q. So Q finally is here. Now we have to find the locus of Q as M varies over tau. So M is variable point, B is fixed, circle is fixed, the tangent at B, I is fixed, O center, O is fixed, right? A is fixed, M is variable. So at different M, uh, you'll get different line T, this line is T small t so when m uh, as m varies small t varies and then p varies p is also uh, variable point p is variable line i is fixed and as p varies then q varies the logos of q we have to find 
uh, if we go for uh, considering this picture on x y plane and taking a b as x axis then o as origin and taking uh, some theta and <coughs> like m as a a cos theta a sin theta you'll get the point q in terms of theta then by eliminating, th eliminating theta you'll get the locus of q but here i like to suggest some better method <coughs> i i'm providing some better method here geometrically i'll show that the locus of q will be what option we'll get let's see whenever i see a tangent on a circle first of all i write i draw 90 degree so these angles are 90 degree because these are two tangents and the meeting point of these two tangents is the point p and the point of intersection of two tangent is generally is very uh, like useful many a time so i always uh, i mean join the point p with the point of intersection of two tangents with the center of the circle so i am joining here p to o now see carefully these two triangles which two triangles pmo and pbo are congruent why congruent because this is radius these two are equal no? radius radius and this common side op angle 90 rhs okay rhs these two triangles are congruent these two triangles are congruent triangle i am writing p m o is congruent to triangle p b o is very clear now so let angle p o b is theta then definitely angle p o m is also theta so if this is theta this is also theta and then angle b p o is 90 minus theta this implies angle yeah this angle is 90 because pq is drawn parallel to ab and so perpendicular to pb pq is perpendicular to pb so angle finally opq is again theta because this angle is 90 so see see this is theta this is theta right and this is theta this is 90 this is 90 minus theta so this angle is again theta i'm talking about this angle is again theta so finally angle o p q is equal to theta is equal to angle p o q so in triangle consider triangle o p q so as do these two angles are equal these two angles are equal in the triangle the triangle is isosceles and which two sides are equal q o is equal to q p are you getting it very simply we got q o is equal to q p so we need to find the locus of q now so q o is equal to q p can be considered as it means q is the point q is equidistant equidistant from the fixed point o and and the 
fixed line i uh, i pb line um, the tangent at b is a fixed line line i and obviously then we can say that q will trace a parabola because it is from the very definition of parabola if some point is equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed line means locus of q is a parabola and of this parabola this o will be the focus and this i will be the directrix isn't it so this is very clear from the very definition of parabola this is a definition of parabola a point is equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed line it is moving and it will if it is moving it is uh, it will trace a parabola definition of parabola so i hope you understood it uh, the option b is correct got it bachcho so very easily explained everything this from this picture so we got it very easily right uh, thanks for watching and listening to the solution uh, i hope you enjoyed it thank you and stay tuned for the next question